and a happy Sunday. Good morning, all. This is P over here. M over there. Patricia. Mariah. <laughs> Together. I think, we are. I think we are. <laughs> P of Studio. Artist Studio. I, have, I have a lot of thoughts going on that I She had some angry ones earlier because she couldn't find what she wanted to, but you know, I came to her rescue. All is good and right in the world. Yes. Archipanko's, um, you know, uh, sources have been found. I know you guys were. Sources are important. Yeah. Don't forget your sources. I don't know what's going on with my lips. Like my arms. What, what? Had some weird are they getting stuck? I don't know. I just had some weird things going on there. Mm. Mm. Well, we have quite the crew so far. Hello to all that is here in the chat. Ah, oh, Christy Meese. Hi. Oh, Christy. What are you doing? So glad you're here. We're starting a new project in Rennie's here. I'm going to say hello to all of y'all. One second. Let me see who's participating. Do remember that I, if you haven't said hello here recently, you need to kind of say hi and, you know, give thumbsy upsies and do the thumbsy upsies on the video and thumbsy upsies in the chat, and then I'll know that you're here and I can say hello. So let's get that going. We have Ann, Brad, Darcy, Dana, Donna, MC. Hey, you are new. Welcome. Jim and Peg, Joni, Kathy, Christy Meese, Lisa Mingus, Liz, Maggie Hart, Marta, Mary Ann, Maxine, Niecy, Pam Everett. Hello, you are new. Welcome. Panka, Remy, Ricky Nordmeyer. Hey, Ricky. Welcome to Mucky Muck. I think that, um, check your email. I have sent you your thing. Uh, so Granny and her grumpy gnome, that is also known as Lynn. Serious Hecka, a.k.a. Lisa, Susan Dufresne, Violet, and let's see, who else popped in here that I can see real quick? Did I say Lisa Mingus? I think I did. All right. Hey, Heather. I think that's the one that popped in there. All righty. Got our hellos done. Do remember to turn your chat to live chat so you see everything that's going on. And uh, let's get this party started. Archipenko. Archipenko. Alexander Porchipenko. Yes. Ooh, actually, before we do get started, thank you to everybody that watched the hop yesterday. I mean, wow! I mean, I it gets better and better every time, <laughs> but I'm always like amazed. It's like, oh my god! <laughs> and I didn't make it through all of them. I'm. I think I have two or, or three, maybe. Yeah. Left. That. Um. Yeah. It's kind of busy around. I mean, it wasn't like super busy around here yesterday, but we, we got some cleaning done and cleaned up a little bit of the area. Got new packets made. Got a whole bunch of new bets. And some good stuff, too. She's willing to. Yeah, I, I, I went through. We uh -huh. went through and we've got another hey, box. Hey, Gala. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> She's got... no longer eating grapes. <laughs> She's not. After the last stream. <laughs> well, yeah, we no. never put in the. Uh, the link. See, I didn't make a note. That's why I, I I went through all of my list last time. I think I hit everything that I had a note written for. Oh, it's the eleventh hour. Okay, there you guys go. If and you it's, want to and know it's, about the weird grape thing. Jean Luc Picard, dude, oh, is the one that is the. Him. I don't know what his name is. I don't know what his real name is either. But as soon as I saw his face, Patrick was, something. Stewart. There we go. We're like we don't know. Oh, but wait, we do. But he is. He's Jean Luc Picard. Yes. Yeah. And he's very good, and it's 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 a combination. I like it. It's very sciency detective stuff with weird grape things that happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right weird grape stuff. See, I keep trying to move so I don't have to see your one stuff. Yeah, I know. You I want know. me to scoot over here a little bit? We're just. I'm gonna try to Ever tackle so that maybe today. I just that one little area of things just. Gets me. See that I don't mind. That looks arty and you know like. You know, you're saving things. Yeah, and this other thing just looks like somebody, like like the cat ate stuff over here and then just. <laughs> <laughs> that that's my feeling. <laughs> that there is some some validity to she, that. She knows because like that's what that's she does. That's kind of I just, just toss stuff over there. I'll deal with it yeah. later. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of stuff to deal with there later. Hey, Kathy. Okay, well, I just wanted to read this little introduction here because. The title of the sculpture that we're going to be drawing our inspiration Do from. Do I need to go topside? Um, no, I just want okay. to read into the camera if that's okay. okay. Yeah, that's totally fine. Um, okay, so the title is Walking Woman, and it was created in 1912. It takes its cues from Cubism, 
highly stylized abstract sculpture that deconstructs the figure by piercing holes in the head and body and reversing the roles between convex and concave forms. Now I know, and this is why I say go to the written word, because when I first read this, I really, I wanted to make sure that I knew what I was talking about, so I looked up words. You may have to look up some words. And that's okay. That's that's how we, we move on. But what, <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and what I know now is going to take me further faster in the future. That's what I used to always say. Further faster kids. in the future, I like that. Further faster in the future. That's the goal of learning. Mm -hmm. And as long as we keep doing that, you know, we don't um, end up in a... In a rut. In a place where, you know, people feed you things. Okay. I think they call that a vacuum. <laughs> All right. Archipenko breaks with conventional sculpture in his reassessment of the relationship between mass and void. And remember, when we were we were looking at the sculpture, there are lots of areas where there's negative, there's holes. This is what this is what the void is. <laughs> That's what really interests me as much as anything because that negative space is as important to your design as what is positive. And you must, especially when you're designing stencils, that is absolutely mm -hmm. paramount because that's what holds the stencil together. Well, that's what holds this three-dimensional sculpture together is it has to match up. And, re and have a relationship with its parts in order for it to stay together. So I thought that was such a, a brilliant, a brilliant thing. Then, okay, I'm going to skip a lot of this. You can look it up and read it, you know, on your own. We are going to source this, um, the three different um, sites, and I'll, I'll, you know, put little notes with it, like, you know, this is the really good one, this is the okay one, or whatever. Okay. Right. Um, thank you for bringing that up, Mariah, okay. because I really, I wanted to say that from the get-go, and I just didn't, because I just jumped right in and got, <laughs> yeah. okay, there are sources, and then there are sources. When you start to read a source, and you're getting the feeling that the people are giving you a lot of opinions, I say move on, because one of them actually, and they're, even the people, the, the critics of the time, usually people who are innovative are not well received to begin with. I mean, it takes a period of time for them to become accepted. And by the time they become accepted, usually they've moved on to something else. That certainly was how Picasso worked. Yeah. Um, he didn't like being uh, accepted. considered normal. Yeah. Yeah, and as soon as that started happening. Oh, he was like, <laughs> okay, I'm out of here. This ain't my party anymore. I'm gone. Got one of those over here. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh good I'm making okay. too many friends so let's go <laughs> so be very aware when you're reading your material to to have that little thought in the back of your brain the one that I found that I was absolutely thrilled with is called the art story it gives you a timeline <laughs> gotta it, love a timeline I like graphs and charts. I, well, I'm not big on graphs and charts, but I love a timeline because you can assimilate a lot of information in a very short time. And you can pick and choose what you want to read or watch or whatever. It gives you, it says influences and then, oh, influenced and influenced by. Oh, that was cool. Two categories. I thought, how wonderful is that? Yeah. So then I read... I was going on down, and I'm kind of diverging here for just a moment, but bear with me. It, it, you know, as the judge would say, is, does this have, are, is this related? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it just may take a minute to get there. Okay. So, as you can tell, I'm very passionate about this. So, what happens when you read and you're going, okay, influenced by and it lists the artist. One of them was Tony Smith. Never heard of this person before. And he's an American sculptor this is kind of like was, a, a very specialized um pinterest you know you kind of go down a little rabbit hole you got to be careful over in pinterest you know one thing leads to another well yeah, yeah. this is this is where this is going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you very good analogy 
Yes. So Tony Smith. Then I read down Tony Smith. And I thought, well, could, because he was one of the people that was influenced by Archipenko. Oh. He was a, he was kind of a gadabout and more of a little art, you know. Uh, what do I want to say? Groupie. Groupie. I and mean, he did do sculpture and whatnot. And and he was um, I, I, he he was unique. But he had a daughter, and her name oh. is Kiki Smith. She does absolutely, I mean, it just makes chills. I mean, her stuff is weird, strange, and wonderful. So you, this, is, this is how you get involved in this, because it's just, it's evolutionary. It takes you around and back again. Yeah. And, you know, you, 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 the more you get, the more you are exposed to. And exposure is a fabulous thing. It's... And, and, Good exposure is much better than bad exposure. I think so much of what we have on YouTube, Facebook, all of the, it, all, all, all of it, the whole thing, is just more of the same. I don't see people doing innovative things most of the time. Now that's not. Oh yeah, there's always a little, it, little font, but you really yes. got to kind of look for it and try to filter out all of the other stuff. But this is a great yes. way to, number one, spark your own inspiration and your own research and be able to then kind of have a timeline of your own of inspiration. Uh, that's wonderfully said, wonderfully said. Thanks. Timeline of your own. Because this is where, this is where you're not following somebody blindly and just, you know, regurgitating the same thing that you just ate. It's where you are eating new and novel things and you're excited and you're going, whoa, well, let's try this. Or and I didn't know this about this person. Yeah. And, oh, that makes more sense. Oh, now I could maybe apply that to this thing that I, I was struggling with. Um, I know so many of us, and, and especially this one over here, has, you know, like the projects that just end up in a little box or shoved away because it was like you know you weren't done but you didn't know where to go from there yeah or I was just done I mean it 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 it, it the, the whole process had ran run its course and I, I was like okay yeah all right I'm done with that yeah um now what I like what Mariah just said apply because that's where we're going with this this is not just some esoteric little you know journey that we're going on here to learn more things. We're learning things so our art gets better. Our art gets better by an exposure to things that are different, novel, and unique. Mm -hmm. That's why I picked, I end up picking good old Archipenko. This is now, something different. He's something different. I'd never heard of him. And then it f come to find out, he's one of his sculptures is there in the Denver Art Museum. And I probably saw it and didn't make a. I did, did obviously didn't make an impression. I have a feeling most of his sculptures are rather diminutive. They're smaller. They're not. He doesn't. Oh. Like, he didn't feel like he had to make it bigger. Yeah, I don't think you know he he, he has he's a, confident in himself. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes the bigger the yeah. sculpture, the yeah, you know. smaller the <laughs> yeah, yeah, go or organ. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I just I want to read just read here just a real quick, um, you know, where he was from and what, and what basically his start and how he evolved. He's a Russian sculptor from the Ukraine, and he was he, he grew up in Kiev. His father was a university professor. Where did I read that? Um, I find I like this sort of stuff because it's, you know, with me, like reading the postcards and being a little bit slightly voyeuristic. I always like this backstory because, you know, understanding how people themselves evolve or where they come from I think is important too because that, that says, okay, well, you know, this is maybe where they picked up their references and, and, and the things that inspired them. You know, all of that pieces together into, you know, what makes us individuals and interesting people. And the, um, 
you know, what's going on in the world, nothing is produced in a vacuum. And what was going on in the world at this time was very, very important because of started, I mean, he was born right around World War One, And he really started producing his art around World War Two. So, you know, um, Walking Woman, that's World War One. So he was, you know, he, he, he got in on both of the wars. And he finally ended up in the United States in New York City, which is where he died. Okay, Archipenko is, he invented the so-called sculpto painting. Oh, which supposedly, like, really, it was kind of a... Oh, yes, it, it was... like that. Uh, it was the consequence of tireless experimentation with both new means and techniques. This innovation represented a visual, tangible hybrid of both painting and and sculpture which we thought was very cool because you know here we are you know we're, we're mixed media artists because again it, it goes back to well, one thing just didn't quite get it done for us and we love the ability of not being constrained by you know what one media because you know when people specialize then there's just rules typically oh, yes. that are very you know watercolor the true watercolors <laughs> does not use white that is like <laughs> anathema to the whole thing. Right. You must not use white. <laughs> you will you will die a violent death right there in or front of your palette. Or then you're called palette. a mixed media artist. <laughs> and then that's okay. <laughs> yeah, and and you know there I just think the more tools you've got in your box the more prepared you are to deal with situations. Yes. Now, one of the things I think is kind of sad and I think that this is uh, you know, it's that whole zen uh, buddhist thing oh. where uh, things that are tangible are, are and, and of this world are meant to slowly deteriorate, yes. evolve into something else. Well, most of the pieces that he, he said, or many of the pieces, have been lost due to their innate fragility. Wow, which means he probably wasn't. <laughs> oh, that he just made them with with string and you know spit and bird poop. <laughs> <laughs> Made him happy. He was good, you know. Yeah, and and it wasn't, you know, when you're doing that kind of free, no expectations experimentation, you Ex don't. It is the process that's important. You're having fun. Right. You're doing something. You don't have an expectation. You, you mix. You of mix what's going tar to happen. gel with something, and then it doesn't dry ever. And then you're like, oh God, how is this gonna? Well, I guess know? I could use that for glue. Um, hmm. Well, or to catch flies with because I bet you that stuff is still sticky. Absolutely. But you know those are things that you kind of learn and you're like yeah probably not good for you know the final piece that yeah. Yes. I, I the tar gel stuff is is yeah I have a love-hate relationship <laughs> with the tar gel stuff. It makes things very shiny. Yeah. Okay well he was also the thing that I, I think intrigued me about him he was also a teacher. He, he was Oh, Very active part. teacher, and he taught all over the United States. Okay, enough of that. Blah blah blah. I, I but I, I we love are going to remember we are going to source those. So if you guys really want to go down into the you know Archipenko rabbit hole of just you know bio and the the research and things, um, plus they're just really great sites, um, especially that one like P said. Because yes, the, the art story. Yeah, then you check can that place find out. Find some other artists and find some maybe yeah. someone that you really connect with. Now, the other one was the uh, Forum Gallery, and I think that's in New York City. That was another very professional, very uh, informative. Do you want me to go top side? Yes, please. Okay, so we have, and you saw these last week, my little sketches that I, I did. Well, just... they saw them yesterday. Oh, yeah, they did. <laughs> See, remember, we, we shot the video last week after the stream because we have makeup on and stuff. Ah, this is just so we... hard for me to, you know. And then I say, okay, well, remember, this is actually going to go out this day, so when we say tomorrow, <laughs> it's really late next tomorrow, week. Tomorrow, what we really mean. <laughs> she, she struggles with, yes. with well, it. Well, I struggle with it. And good morning to all y'all coming time in. Time constraints, anyway. I'm, you know, like, when exactly did that happen? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> So, I have a little packet that contains all of the stuff. Oh, that's a great, um, that's a great, what am I trying to say? Observation. Susan Anderson, and hello, by the way, Susan, so glad you're here. 
never really thought about the different kinds of art until getting involved with the wonderful people I've met in this paper crafting mixed media world. Because I think, you know, what you really don't, and then you think, well, you know, I don't have that product or I don't, you know, what would I use that for? That sort of thing. Um, I think that that happens a lot. But then, uh, yes, you, you get into a project and you're kind of like, well, you know, what I have on hand isn't necessarily, get, you know, that's the, the, the intro. That's one of the reasons I have not changed our intro is because I just, it is so perfect for us. It, it, what is it? We, we accidentally again? like talked about ourselves like perfectly because <laughs> it, 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 it is still, it's still applicable. It's, it's relevant and, right. and it's, it's, it's not a time thing. It is. It continues to be relevant. Yeah. And I think that's important too. Is once that and people say, well, you know, how how do you how do you discover your style? How do you get a special look? Well, you do that by doing a lot of art, because that's how you find out what feels comfortable for you, and you keep doing that. Yeah. And you just keep doing that. If you will. If you look at my prints, even the ones that I'm really trying to do something different with, there's going to be something there that says, oh, I know who did that one. Yeah, she has some I, key things. I know, and I, of course I've got signature colors that I use a lot. But still, it, it's mine is more about the way I approach it. And I pr approach everything from a process and an immediate... Hey, point of view that's right. that's where I, I go every time that's how this all started and it was like okay so what do I need to do to get myself going on this I really I love this image that this artist has now how am I going to utilize that image to make it into something that is quintessentially mine I own it yeah I own it now I wouldn't be you know I say that and the whole thing is and when Mariah referenced our video where we said, I cannot be here with you without her. Number one, I don't know how to use that camera thing that's, you know, over there making me <laughs> visible. I can barely turn the damn uh, computer on, actually. It, she might, she might, you might have seen her in some chat groups or something. She, she probably would have been, dang, that lady's like. <laughs> yeah, I would have been that, that lady that they're all going, oh my God, she's here again. Um, but yeah, mm. so what was very important in oh, this whole process, the book, the, it's the art book is it's where we the first, art. yeah, that's, that, that's and, a great starting point to a lot of like, all right, I just need a quick. Yes. And it's alphabetized. So you can look, it has pictures <laughs> and the writing is rather small. In the little one that you can get a big version of this. You can get that have a big version. The it's reason I heavy. like this is because it's travel. I can stick it in my backpack and go, but it is just all of these pictures. And even if you want, it, it's enough to, you can see now this one. I love this because I, we use this. Remember when we were going through our, uh, and I was finding image, just of art produced during the Black Death mm -hmm. plague. Yes, and, and this was one of them. And I was like, "Oh my God, that is so small! I can't see that." Well, but it was so I, interesting. I remember you because this this was one that it's like depending on where you saw it, even online, the pictures were so different. Well, and even the sculpture here is it looks kind of pinky here, mm -hmm. but in my book here, it looks green. So these are the, this is the same image. Well, we think, right? Because didn't you say you think that there might have been more? Well, of more you know, than one? when you when you make a cast of something, yeah, you have you can produce multiples, mm -hmm. and in that cast you can do use different. Uh, but he also painted his surfaces, so I don't really know. There isn't a lot of information on what exactly we didn't dig that deep. This is, but um, I intend to. We'll, we'll, yeah, get back to that. Um, but this is a great little book. And if you don't own anything that has just a, a whole bunch of different artists, this is a great place to start. And reasonably priced. This was 15 bucks. I don't know. I think in the whole, I, and I'm sure that they're still. Who's, who's, yeah. Fading. Fading, fading yeah. 
Sorry, our internet's being kind of funny this morning. It's taking forever to... Okay, now, where was I? Okay, getting back. To what? Actually, I think... Well, oh, if you want it in hardcover, it's 36. No, well, I my little soft cover one, you know, is fine. I, I'm more about the information than I am the... Um, of course, I do have some books in hardcover. All right. So here we are with old Archipenko. Oh, they have a revised and expanded 2020 edition. Here we go. Well, I'll put a link to that. Because... Uh, yeah, Violet see, I did it. write it down here. The art... Story.org. Oh, you found your note. I, I found my note. freaked out this morning. Says, like, use the inner parts to create a stencil mask. <laughs> oh, goodness. Poor and people. Mariah hooked me up with these little bitty... They're little bitty washi tape things. So it's made my um, job of doing these a whole lot better, a whole lot easier. Okay, yes, and the, the artstory.org. Influenced and influences. Quotes by the artist. It was the most extensive info. And it also lists the sources from which the articles were derived. Muy importante. Yes. That is what you need to look for. Sources. It has a timeline. There's photos of the artwork and the time in which they were produced. It also gives you their location at yeah. this point. I will drop, okay, not only am I going to come back and put these links in the show me more area after the stream, I will do that. And then, because we just found them, so I have to send them to me and do all that. I, I just didn't, I, if it would have been a little bit more time, I could have probably dropped it into the video, but um, I will come back and put that into the show me more. I will also post them in Makers. It's the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artist Facebook group. Those of you that are in the chat, I think a majority of you guys are already members, but anybody watching replay or, you know, wants additional information and lots of interaction with all of these lovely people that are, you know, talking in the chat and just hanging out with us, that is where that is done. It's Makers of Mixed Media Art and Arts Facebook group. Throughout the stream, you will get um, our little... Um, our little bot will be dropping those links to like makers, to our already perks, to the website. All of those just kind of keep an eye out, but all that information is always in the description area below. Those of you that are coming in, welcome. Please do say hello in the chat so that way we can say hello back. We are a very friendly group and we love to say hello and talk with you. Please do give the thumbsy upsies on this video. That helps us big time. We have just kind of started out here, and she's already Frankenstenceling. That's yeah, it. and my <laughs> well, request here is to, I don't know if you can give that a little bit more room on the... I think that was an earlier version as well. Okay. So remember, yeah, if you, you kind of have a little bit uh, more there so I can make a straight line cut. I, it's not that I really, I, I don't really need this. Okay. Um, let me, um, actually let me drop the link to to the Archipen because they are in the shop right now. And I have made a, you get the outer bits. I didn't include the outer piece. Whatever the I outline? can. Whatever I can, the outline is included. Okay. But those other pieces, I will do my best to send it along. Um, sometimes because yeah. of the connection points and things, they do get torn. But I can include it if you want it. Again, like pieces. Really, that piece isn't all that important. I, that piece, this piece right here. Right. I don't give a rip about that. <laughs> I really don't. So I'm calling these Archie pieces. Archie pieces. I love it. Because we have, you know, the Matisse pieces. So this is not necessarily like the first time we've done this. But this is the first time we have done it in this way. So I have I ended up here with two of the same. Why is that, Mariah? Or are they not the same? They no, look. remember you had me resize it ever so slightly. I mean, and it is oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So this is slightly. You can see this is slightly smaller. Yes. Very infinitesimally. But we wanted it ever so slightly smaller, so that way it would go work well on the five by seven plate. Yes. Yes. Give you a little border. Yes. And I, I that little border sometimes is really really important. And these pieces, even though I don't, I know that they're not exactly the same, I like these because I think 
what I can do is after I do a, I can use these as masks. And oh. I think that that's going to be kind of, well, I mean, Sherry that's something you. I haven't done. Yeah. So that's something new. All right, we're going to keep all this out. And I'm going to go ahead and take this folder away. Hopefully. And I, can you guys believe that she's had her hands on these for what, over two weeks? Oh, you don't know. I, 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 I was waiting You know for what I started doing? I started doing uh, collaging. Collaging because I wanted, I just, I was just, I, I couldn't stand it. I had to do something. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'll show you my collages. I really would like to save those and talk about those on uh, Tuesday. Okay. And remember, this is going to be kind of an ongoing project um, because we don't really have a specific thing in mind. And and that's right now. I'm just going to start off with something I've already got here, and we're just going to see what happens. This is this when you don't have an agenda is when you really come up with innovative things. And without an agenda, you don't have an idea of what of you're supposed to do. What it's supposed to be. <laughs> So you just you just let go of a whole bunch of preconceptions, setting yourself up for failure. Because mm -hmm. I don't know what this is going to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm I'm kind of thinking that. Um, yes, an evolving project. That's right. It's evolving. I'm going to change my mind, and I'm going to keep more of this at the bottom because this is darker, uh -huh. and have my line up. There. Yeah, well, Candy prompted Nightbot, and, and, and Nightbot gave out Murdery Red. Murdery Red. You know she ain't going to Oh, I don't mind that. <laughs> Good call, Candy and Nightbot. <laughs> I really don't. Hello, Allison. I just, you know, I... I oh, okay. Oh, Sade, okay, is Allison. I'm going to write that down, because I don't know that I will... What is it? We've got quite a few new people. I'm oh. very excited. But I... I well, absolutely. Well, and I took away my pen. Oh, you did? I did. It's downstairs. Oh, but I got a gray one. It's okay. okay. I like my pink one, though. <laughs> well, there's just nothing like just jumping in. You know, you just sit around and think about stuff and and mull about it and worry about it. And You know what I used over here today? I used my really good paper because I have been using my prayer offs for my uh, collage. Like, almost... Mm. exclusively going to that and I'm so excited about that. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, don't do that. That's and I am so I excited, can. yeah, <laughs> about this because well, look at this. this now, is, you know, the funny thing is, so uh, we're talking about style and how things kind of evolve and whatever, but yet if you've noticed from even from Matisse pieces, broken puzzles uh, oh, or I puzzle know. it really is these isn't. shapes it's... and how she puts them together i mean I, I try to get out of my little but this is how she views those shapes like that's how they come out to her it inevitably is and i i guess you know if we were to say something about my style this would be my yes my style. <laughs> it really is this is to make um well, also, I'm I'm very, I, I, I proudly say this, that I I can do a lot with very little. Okay, here was the one thing that I thought was very interesting and, and kind of keeps coming back again, even when we research a lot of these different artists, is the fact that, so a lot of this was happening during the um, cubism. Cubist stage. Yes. yes. And, and the Italian well, futurists also. Right. So we love that whole idea because there was a lot of evolution and a lot of thought of, like, you know, futuristic. And yeah, they were questioning the norms of, of what art is supposed to be. And, you know, that's kind of what we need to do. Challenge ourselves to do something a little bit. Oh, I just love these little wormy things on the end. And a nature's view... Um, what, what shall we call you, or we can call you Nature View, <laughs> but if you have yeah. a name, we'd like to call yeah. you that. And if you'd like for us to know it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> kind of. And welcome to all y'all coming in. Do give those thumbsy upsies. 
remember. And see, you know, All right, well, that was so wonderful. Let's do that again. I like that. And the murdery red was the spot-on call from Candy and Nightbot. <laughs> All right, well, now we've got a new one up here. We're going to print onto that. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think lime green would be fantastic. Well, it's already got some lime green on it. Well, I know, but it needs... Like, I'm I'm thinking that we well now I could use Christy the, says yellow. I could use the green. I want to go transparent because I really do. I want to see <laughs> what. Okay, so well, Christy says yellow. Our Christy Meese. Um, Linda prompted Nightbot, and Nightbot says green, not pukey. Maybe goose poop. See, Nightbot said that. Uh huh. I don't believe it. I think I think Fran is in there someplace. <laughs> Fran's not gonna be here today. She has um her her kids came to visit her. Well, darn. I don't know, but that's that that's yeah, a, that's a good that's thing. That's excusable. That is excusable. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness! Look at that wonderful little. Okay, the picture of you is Sherry. Well, the jar is getting full. Okay, this is transparent and I'm thinking it's going to I'm going to be able to see everything now the only thing about this is I need to move swiftly comprendes swiftly I must not dilly, linger don't dilly dally do not dilly dally oh yes look at that well, we've got some little weird shadowy things going on there. Well, that I thought you were about to say something else. I was like, oh, geez, we have all these new people in here. Just... Shadows. Shadow. <laughs> Mariah, shadow. shadow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that's funny. It's not even Thursday. <laughs> Usually that's when these things happen. I just love new stencils, and you know, if I wasn't such a lazy <laughs> slob, I'd wash mine. But I know, because then they start to look really cool, and yeah, it's fun. and then you think, oh, I don't know. And this is Ripley, obviously that other paint. Oh, I know what it was. It was the. Uh, Hello, Susan. Welcome. Well, now that's sort of interesting. See. Get all Linda but, and Nightbot weren't wrong. I know, but the thing is, it couldn't. I couldn't have used my lime green because my lime green that I have is very opaque. Well, I think this was more long. This this was like meeting in the middle between what Linda Nightbot and and Christy wanted. Yes. It was like goose poop meets meets yellow. Yes. <laughs> there you go. We're making everybody happy, sorta, or everybody yeah. a little bit angry. You know, that's <laughs> you know. okay. <laughs> There's that. There's that. Okay. Oh. What? Um, Lynn has a has a little cat, tux cat named Shadow. Oh, the shapes remind Estella of a sewing pattern pieces. Yes, and in a lot of ways it could be because you you know you can take those and put them together and make you know something else. There you go. Now, what I thought was interesting about this evolution of the statue is that it's kind of like a meld between the cellular membrane and the statue. It, it's like if you were to go more microscopically in, in a way, like this is the way that it would look. That's what I thought was interesting about that because she's just kind of like, whatever. Yeah. Hello, Chris. And I've really started, is that Chris Orko? No, we have a new Chris. Chris Kilu. Kilu? Oh. Well, the other thing, you know, I learned about this tissue paper thing from Robin McClendon, you know, years ago, whenever I was. Way back when, when she was way back a, when I was like not trolling the trolling the in internet, and I didn't know diddly squat no, about. No, you're using that word wrong. <laughs> she wasn't trolling anyone. No, trolling that trolling. Right. I was trolling in you know like right. the, the leader, leader line that goes behind a ship. 
<laughs> That's trolling. Yes. So, and you know, just really, you know, trying to figure out what was going on. And she kept using this tissue paper and she would just get the most marvelous results. And then, of course, you know, we have our favorite Ooh, person who does. Very nice, Alan. Okay, now we're not going to pull that right now. We're going to allow this to dry. Do you want to wipe off any of those little edge parts? Or do no, you like I kind of like okay. the, I like the, but you know, sometimes I would. That's yeah. a good point, Mariah. Sometimes I choose to do that because I want it to be clean. And then sometimes I really, I want it to she, be She just. guards her bridge very what? Uh, yeah. What, what, what? You are not telling me no, something, not telling Mariah. That, uh, Gayla says, I always suspected P was a troll. <laughs> <laughs> See, she does, she has a little bridge over here. See that? that that's her. <laughs> that's me. All right, now I put that down. I don't think I want it there. Good thing it came up. Hi, Christy. Oh, she probably has to go to work, huh? No, she's probably going to fart around today or something. I don't know. Cause she's off today. Oh. She has week. She she's you know. She's got the the primo schedule now. Oh. Yeah. Hi Gretchen. All right. What I want to do here, and I'm you know I'm Food. keep trying to kind of line this up here. I don't want the lines to be like super obvious. I don't really care. But be careful where you do overlap, especially bigger pieces like this, because it's just going to create a, a a void. Well, it is, but I think it's going to be okay yeah. because I'm going to, um, <laughs> I'm going to, to just, I, I'm not going to use the whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I want to make this kind of smeary and kind of smeary. Now that was, um, some color shift, right? No, that was um, paper artsy transparent. Oh, the um, beach hut or something like that. Yes, ma'am, it, it is. I do like this color. I love this color. And as Nightbot has pointed out, if you guys are enjoying hanging out with us, do give the thumbs the ups. These lets other people know you liked what was going on over here. If you're watching in the replay, we also appreciate that. Leave us comments. Even yes. if you guys want to come back and leave comments, we like those. And I, I read them to Paige. She does read them to me, and she will chastise me if I have someone mentions my name or something and I haven't noticed it. She will say, You need to go talk to this person. There are messages that you need to take care of. And of so course, if you direct them to her, I, I will make sure that she does. Do so rapidly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got some nice little fuzzy, fuzzy violet stuff going on here. Uh, this was a little leftover of sort of a shadow technique of the um, imperfectly perfect uh, big nested. That, that piece that you had. I, I don't know where it has gone off to. But what piece? The the big nested. That's what's that swishy. Oh, that yeah. That's yeah, happening yeah. back there. Yeah, that's what that is. Oh, I'll tell you what. I just have tissue paper all over the place. It's just driving me crazy. She, she finally said, "Can I have a box?" I'm putting everything in a box. And I said, "I'll give you a box." Mariah. She had <laughs> squealed a little squeal of delight. She says, "I'm cleaning." I said, "Okay, I will find you a box." <laughs> Boy, you want to get some stuff going there. All you got to do is say that word. Uh -huh. Clean. Mariah's on it like a duck on a junie bug. <laughs> Kayla says to Susan, and I think Susan said something else, but I'll go back up here in a second. She says, uh, P uses under the bridge as a word domination control center, like Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> that was my very best evil chuckle. Yes. Menacing. Menacing. <laughs> Izzy says, Gigi, don't laugh like that. It scares me. I said, you've been watching entirely too much. And I'm telling you, like, inappropriate. Dis Disney. You gotta be careful. I'll you, Some just because it says Disney doesn't mean it's child. It's a whole other part yeah. of Disney. The, this is the underground. This is the people under the bridge along with me. Mm -hmm. That are making these movies. Well, and even some of the ones that, although I will say this, if you do watch some old 
Cinderella and stuff. Some of that stuff is kind of dark and scary. <laughs> a little bit. You know, <laughs> it's kind of like those Brother Grimm things. Yeah. It's rather grim. <laughs> <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. <laughs> We're going to use our yeah. stencils over here and see if we can get something going on. Hi, on Michelle. This paper. Well, the stencil's looking really good. I don't know. Yeah, about and the your paper. prayer offs are brilliant. You know, you can't have it all. Can't have it all. Like, or can we? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. I don't. I don't. Do not know why. Who said that? But I, I'm not necessarily a believer in that. You don't buy it. No, I don't buy it. Look at that. Now that is a great start to something else. I say <laughs> as the paint is drying on my. <laughs> Table here. Yeah, your stencil's drying to the. Yeah, yeah, and my stencil's getting stuck to the. Oh, and have some more pretty little light blue <laughs> going on here. It's where they're being experimented on, Gayla. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we uh, traumatized Gayla a little the we, other we day did. with the grape thing. <laughs> with the grapes? She's still talking about yes, the grapes. She is. Jesus, girl, let's move on. <laughs> she needs I, to. I'm done with the grapes. Oh, poor Gala. I feel like uh, we should send my... her a basket or something. <laughs> <laughs> not with grapes. Not a fruit basket. <laughs> the little the little little goats have not tripped across my bridge lately. Oh my gosh, look at my hands. This is like you in the purple. How did the other that day. happen? I don't know. You're That's messy. Veiny looking. Would you like your would you like your apron? No, I'm good. Okay. I think this already has stuff on it. Oh, I would like to point out one thing up here. You see my little hole I fixed? It's beautiful. Isn't that? Hey, she fixed my shirt, so this is pretty funny. I found one of Izzy's socks from like, you know, before, which is real little. I couldn't find the other one, so I was like, all right, well, I want to use it because it was the right color. Because I had a shirt that the elbows were starting to kind of wear out, but I absolutely love it. It's one of the shirts that we tie-dyed, and the, the color is just, I love it. Amazing. It was all all the leftover colors that we had that we just... Well, kind of the blues and greens. Yeah, poured we together. Make, yeah. But, um, so, P sewed it up for me. And it's so cute. I'll wear it maybe Tuesday. I'm washing things right now. It's laundry. So, Izzy noticed, and she she was kind of P.O.'d. <laughs> no, well, I put, put the little... Because all that was left of it was... I, I used the yeah. top around this top cut that cut it and it, it covered up one of the mm -hmm. places and I had about this much left over and then the bottom part I had the little boat of the thing and I was saving it for Izzy because I thought she could use it with her dollies and then she's like where did this come she said, is this my sock? where's my sock <laughs> she held it up and I mean she was like yeah deadpan serious and I'm like Ha! Huh. Well, let me see. I used that to patch your mother's shirt, and she was like, she, "That was I not didn't, authorized." <laughs> I didn't sanction that. That was yeah. That's she the said. word she used. She, she didn't say <laughs> that. Her but five she year said, old. I had, but she does use some pretty big words. She does. Um, <laughs> and I said, "Well, honey, you know, I, it was the only thing we had that was the right color, and it was an old sock." And we couldn't find the other one. And she, she's, she's processing. And she, she says, next time, you, you need to talk to me first. <laughs> aye, aye. Uh -huh. She learned this behavior <laughs> from this one over here. By the way. I mean, it's like, it's like talking oh to a little Oh, my gosh. Tea. You know, yes. I, I, I don't know if I should say tell, <laughs> tell you not. about this. On, on <laughs> you know, Izzy, when she... she she poops she's still real reluctant to to wipe and fortunately she goes in the afternoon so she's not at school i don't know what's going to happen when she's at school yeah, yeah but she's a holler one poo at a time says, i'll be there right away my darling my whole goal in life is to wipe your butt i said that uh, i thought that I, said, was, I live for this honey i live to wipe your bum yes and you know, I'm looking at her, and, and I, I we wonder why she has these expectations. And I'm just like, yeah. really? Hey, you know, why am I doing this? This is not what I. This I is know. what happens when you talk and yeah, you know, and visit and giggle and laugh and you, yeah. need you to stay focused. Come on, now. Hi, Jackie. 
hill up and I just know that's wet. <laughs> Jackie, oh, you're in the right place, Jackie. She said it annoys her when YouTube artists have hands that are too clean. Well, you're, you're in the right place. It, it, it's like skinny cooks, you know. Don't trust them. Don't trust them. I, I like where you're going with this. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. Now, that other was stupid because that was just like wispy, pispy. Pispy. Wispy, pispy stuff. Mm -hmm. Hashtag that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, we're going to use something bright. So, we're going to go with our red again because I kind of like that on the other one. <laughs> Kelly. Hi, Kelly. She loved the Izzy story. Well, that's good. We're, we're you know, we do the best. Harking through it. Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I like the color choice here too. You know, one of the other things is, is you know, where P showed you the two different sculptures, and I'm pretty sure that they're two different sculptures, even though it is the same yeah, cast I, I, or whatever. Yeah, I, I, so. I, I think it is too because one did not say the Denver Art Museum and one did. Yeah, but the thing is, is you can even just take inspiration from color oh, no, texture. No, 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 it doesn't have to be the full thing. It doesn't have to be full on. The, pe the, the, the entire piece. It can be pieces of the piece. Pieces of the piece. I like that. It's an in-depth combo right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not leaving those down because I, I already got paper stuck to that, and that's just sucky poo-poo. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. That, that's going to take some. There's more to come. More to come. All right, here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was a sticky plate. <laughs> okay, where's is is, is 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 my is my lovely friend Christy here? Oh, this is really. I know she went to eat. Red, white, and blue. You know how much I hate that. Ah, well, we'll make it different. I wish this piece of paper would stay under there and stop migrating over here. I'm thinking yellow. Yellow. Yeah, I like that. Or you could even ombre it. Oh, I could. That'd be really cool. Okay. I'm up for it. So, what are we going to do? <laughs> Paula is known, known as the toilet training queen. Oh, you know, if you want to come to the States. I'll tell you what. I told Mariah when we were trying to get Izzy. I mean, and she is potty turret. I mean, obviously. And she's pooped in the pot since she was two years old. It was just the peeing that was making everybody a little bit crazy. <laughs> it just, and really, all it comes down to is her being able to stop for five seconds and realize she's she, a busy girl. Yeah, she's a very busy girl. She has FOMO that is just like nonstop, and that's the fear of missing out. Oh yes. That two seconds in the the restroom. Oh, y'all, I don't know if this is the color. That uh -uh. just kind of looks pukey, doesn't it? No, you need to go with, like, cheddar or, you know. Something. I've got it right there. Well, no, the other, the darker one. Or the more hazardy, you know, like, bucky orange. Hazardy bucky? What does that mean? You know, like, uh, hunter orange. Oh, I'm going to go with lime green. I like that, too. And the reason is, is because I kind of think when these meld together here, you know, at the point where, you know, they do in the middle. All right, now you notice I'm putting one drop on each end. I have discovered, and I know I've said this before, when you all get tired of hearing it, you can just, we got a lot like, of new people. tune it out, go on, <laughs> say, oh my God, if she says that one more time, I'm going to throw up. All right, just remember there are people here today who have not. Yeah, they, they don't know this. One drop at one end, one drop at the other end. This and I can't tell you why it makes a difference, but every time I do it, it works. Mm -hmm. Get a good ombre. I get a good ombre. Because if you put them both at the same, then they start to kind of run together at the same at time. The same and they don't place. have time to smoosh out nicely. Yeah, there's some science there. Yeah. We're just not going to I, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> and look what a lovely roller you have. I was going to say, flip that baby over there, Pay you don't get a no, line I know. on it. Be getting a line on my paper. But this is probably going to, uh, I'm not, it, it needs a whole lot more paint on it to get rid of that. Now that blue, I just do not like that blue. 
and you know I used to say there was not really any color that I, I just I don't it's strident okay now look at that mm -hmm. is that not cool I love it I'm gonna start trying to clean up my edges a little bit more instead of this thing looks like it's been to the yeah we need to do a little scraping session and get uh, we really do and it's not that she's a super clean person but the thing is is that there's nothing worse than you trying to figure out a print and then there's something in the background. I wish you could remember that one stream. Remember where we were all like, and the paper was so. Because I had this I was like, what is that behind there? It was like, it was on the paper. It yeah. wasn't on the plate. So, yeah, a clean background is nice, especially when you're trying to teach other people to do things. Yes, and when you want to pull a clean print instead of some. Eh, not quite. Oop, not quite. Okay, here, let's go back to this. I'm pretty sure that this is dry, yes. Oh, well, I think it works for the little brayer, too, right? What? But I think for the ombre, you, you t you've you been using big old Bertha there. Well, the reason I use the, the big one is because I can cover it all in one fell swoop. And you're not but having to... You're not having to move your brayer back and forth. That's the other trick. Yep. Good, good observation, Devin. Yep. Yes. The big one keeps the paint so that you don't now you will notice I do push oh. it up a little bit and down a little bit but on the other one you have to completely pick it yeah, up and, and then, then you get those those lines from the edges edge of the brayer so two key things keeping the paint on either end and the big brayer yes thank you all right now uh Carrie I doubt it because, um, so he asked, does the packing tape lift paint from the acrylic plate? No, because... Does the what? Packing tape lift the paint from the acrylic plate? I don't think so, because it's like hard surface. Oh, I see what he's saying. No, I you wish it did. Because every now and then I get my paint stuck to the end. Where's the They're scraper? Stuck on the... Uh, right there, okay. next to the... Yeah, she's got things on the carpet. Try to get that out of the view. There we go. This thing right here is a tool that everyone should have. They come in handy for all sorts of things. You gotta scrape stickers off and you know. Yes, that sort of you thing. Know. <laughs> and it just it has a little blade, you know, like razor blade. And you put it in there. I'm sure a lot of you guys know about that. We have two of them. One upstairs, one downstairs. There you go. Now what I'm trying to do See, here... See, Jeanette she says that tool is the bomb. <laughs> she uses it for lots of things, too. Okay, I'm trying to get some of that out in the middle to just stay there. So I use the big piece in the middle. That's what my brain is, you know, like processing here. Uh, I, I guess we're just going to go with old... One second, and I'll, I'll look that up. What is it? Amazon link for scraper. All right, hey, if you guys want it, I'll give it to you. I'll tell you what. You need it. We, we could use a new one because that one is getting so that it doesn't. I have to hold my finger on the little. Yeah, this little mechanism, and this thing's old. Oh. I don't I, even, hopefully you'll be able to find. Oh, it's called the Red Devil. <laughs> That's funny. I'm going to look it up, see if they still make them. I, I'm sure that... But the, it does. It gets a little worn. And it doesn't hold on to the... But I bet you that thing's as old as I am. Oh, but, it may even be older. Mm -hmm. That that may have come from... from Originally from either Scotty's house or my house. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Look at that. Is it still metal? Yeah. Well, that, that in and of itself oh, is yes. freaking amazing. Window scrapers, what they're called. But here, I'll give you a... This is the exact same one. How exciting is that? All right. Now, we are going to allow this to then dry. And we'll talk about what we're going to pull it with. But look at this. Isn't this just bright and cheerful? I think it's very archipping. Oh. Because he was like into bright, brilliant colors. And people gave him a lot of guff about that. It wasn't serious. Well, 
yes. And I think, you know, when you have people that are just, I don't know. I, I know that, that there's a reason that we have art <laughs> critics and whatnot, but for the most part, they're kind of pompous asses. <laughs> yes. And... The, I think that's the best the best ones I think are not I think they're very much and especially since you're starting to talk about art of the 21st century because it's a whole different ball game than it used to be and it requires a different oh I'm loving this you know and Darcy says you need a third one you know All right, were you feel, feeling I'll that I'll be right back I was feeling that too because it was like okay I've got this big space here and here I need something in there and I'm afraid that the stencil and the mask are just too much I think this might be a good addition after I pull something with these things down here I think that's going to be really cool now I do have this one that's a little bit bigger now I think we're going to save those for later that 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 edge I think will and we might try this so help me remember when I get ready to do this that we go more vertical here because this is all horizontal so we would be breaking up those horizontal lines with some verticals I'll place those right there like that so we can very possibly Try to move these in a little bit closer since we know we're going to get another one. I want that tip to be on. And see, because these lines are so, and I'm putting it down on the naked plate, I can get away with that overlapping. I'm probably still going to have a little bit of a, a smush right there where those two are really close together. And up here, this is almost completely overlapping that same line. That may work out really brilliantly. I don't know. I don't really have an option on that unless I turn it around and I want that to be there because it's up juxtaposed to this one on the other end. And then I'm thinking having this go here and the rest of the stencil go here. All right. We'll just put that away for a sec while Mariah fetches out the other one. Let's go back to Mr. Blue and Purple here. Oh, yeah. All right, well, what about this? Well, I don't know what I did with it. Oh, you came up stencilless? I did. I cleaned oh, my no. office. And oh. oh. Oh, yeah, there we go. The C word. Yeah. All right, now remember we talked about doing this on the other one where we had, because this one's this way, so now we're going to put some stuff on to go this way. And we're going to do this sort of aqua green stuff here. I don't know. I guess I opened oh, it. Oh, yes, get the, yeah, if you don't have razor blades, then yeah, order a pack of those. But that's what's nice is it just takes like the regular. It does have a stained glass look to it. Yeah, kind of thought that too. Yeah, I don't know what I did with... Maybe I didn't look in the folders. See, we create folders because every once in a while we'll cut things and have extras or whatever. Or we try to have some things on hand to make the whole process go a little faster but because I had cut a new set for myself because I I don't know where you were what you were doing but I wasn't going to come up here and dig and look for it <laughs> okay I don't really know if this is going to be show that again hmm it's really probably going to depend on what you put behind it I think you're absolutely right Mariah 
absolutely right. Okay, let's see what we have here. Let's see if we can pull this one. And you know what might look cool is um, like copper or something on that one. Or orange. Oh, yeah. Either one. Mm-hmm. Now, look at that. Isn't that bright and cheerful? Now, one of the other things that I think that will be fun during this whole evolution and discovery, because we talked about doing a sculpture. And so we've got to go and find us some, well, actually, there's a couple ways we can go about it. Because remember, we were even talking about that, because we have all the paper up here. So we could create forms. And we think that that would be fun. But before we do that, I think that we need to do bunches of tissue papers, a lot like vinyl. Or have we discovered that we kind of like having the form sort of getting started, I, then that the reason settling I, in. I say that is because you remember the pile of paper I had that I never even never used. Never even used. We cut it up and put it in packets. Some of y'all have them. Yeah. <laughs> because, I, you know, here we go again. I, I, I love the idea of planning. I really do. I, I embrace it. I love the it. idea of it. I, I do. It's like goats. <laughs> I like the idea of goats. I just don't want them. Yeah. I want it, it you know, it's I want to go visit the goats. I want to visit the goats, but I, I do not want to um have to visit planning. Because <laughs> unless you can cage the little boogers, they will eat your vegetation. Yeah. They, they will eat your curtains. They will eat your They poop what everywhere. Well, I don't mind that so much. That's actually kind of good. Um you know, it's usually dry little pellets and it doesn't matter if you step in it. Not like dog poo, especially it's Massey has elephant movements. Um, the thing is, when you are so invested in your plan, you've watched me. You've watched me lose it because it wasn't going according to plan. Yeah, she, she gets real. But if she just so, musses about. If I just muck about and there's not anything that, you know, really needs to happen here... <laughs> Um, positively needs to happen. Yeah. Then I'm good to go. I'm just like happy going along here. We're just doing some cool stuff. Oh, Sandra. Okay, Sandra Leon. She says she printed out the copy of Queen P's Brayer off sheets. Um, well, actually, one of them was a print, like a, an actual print from way back when. But they went together quite nicely, I thought. But then, yes, the other one was a Brayer off. How about creating a section for special gems? Like downloadables? Is that oh. what you're kind of... I mean, if you guys like them, I just... I just fear of the... I don't know. I, I'm probably... I'm way overthinking it. It's my... You know, that's my hobby. <laughs> well, that was not very impressive. <laughs> that wasn't. <laughs> I thought it was going to be cool, but... No. It's what happens when your paper gets all... Mushy. <laughs> that's right, Susan. <laughs> Your paper gets mushy and... In the best way possible. Uh -huh. And you cannot get a definite image there because it's just all gravelly. Ooh, there. Now, that was kind of good. Okay. okay. Just needed to be slightly moister. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm... It's kinda, moister, yeah, is that I'm liking proper? that. This is going to be absolutely wonderful. I, I mean, I don't... Got a little bit of green goo in the end there. I, I mean, you, you, and some you put red. that black paint on there like a pro. No, it's... It, it's 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 Prussian. Oh, is it? The lighting yes. is weird today. Well, we don't we have clouds. Oh my gosh, my one light isn't even on. Oh my god, I just stuck a whole bunch of stuff to my <laughs> arm. Sugar. I, you could have said, would you click the light for me? <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> She's been marked. <laughs> I'm tattooed, as you will say. Remember that one day that I had that. Oh, what happened? Oh, there we go. I was going, I know I had a shelf Open for... slot. <laughs> Open slot? Where the hell is it? <laughs> it's it's kind of the, when the light gets yeah. at just right over there, hard for my eyeballs to perceive. <gasps> you know, we're halfway what? in. It's Look fine. Look at that. God, you, did you see that pack of squirrels run through here? <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, burgers? <laughs> All right. Hey, Felicia. 
Yellow. Yellow. Hey, Gail. Gail. Is that Gail? Our Gail? Our uh -huh. grape Gail? Well, grape Gail. No, grape Gala. Gala. Gala yeah. and uh -huh. Gail. Mm -hmm. Not the same thing. That's right. And then we have two different Gales. But this is Gail Nichols. Nichols. Ollie. Our Californian friend. The teacher. Oh, 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 oh. All right, Sherry, thank you for hanging. Hope you come well, back. I, I don't know that this is the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we're going to do it. We're winging things today. We're just... Oh, we did too, Gail. She said she survived the first week of school. Oh, my gosh. Wasn't you have it, it a lot harder than we do. We just got to get a kid out of I, 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 And it takes four of us to do that. I, I don't understand how I ever managed to do... Please, yes, put that away because that's quite lovely. That? Yeah, it is. I, I, yeah. As long as I get rid of that horrible blue. What is your deal about the blue today? I just do not... That blue just does not... I don't know. I just want to. All right. I, I don't want to talk about it because I might offend someone. Oh, Candy asked Nightbot for a color. Nightbot said, meh, I feel black. <laughs> I, I feel like black. Yeah, well, sometimes you got a good idea and sometimes you don't. <laughs> Thanks, Nightbot. <laughs> Keep on trying. <sighs> now maybe black. Oh, a that side one. eye. I told Brad that I wanted I wanted more emojis. We 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 gotta build up the arty perks though, because I don't know how many more we need, but you know, every level it makes you like then have to get even more and it's like, dang. Just give us the emojis, man. <laughs> this is YouTube. They're incentivizing us <laughs> to incentivize y'all. <laughs> Okay, Hi, so, Gary. so you didn't have a third one of these things for me, Mariah. That's very disappointing. I know. I am so sorry. Like I am very disappointed. I'm I am going disappointed to in myself because so. I was so stoked because like I had them over in... But see, I brought in new envelopes and everything. And so I'm afraid that they might have gotten mixed up in there. Well, that's not very good. No, it's not. I kind of like this dirty, goldy color you got going on there. Yeah. I like it. I do too. Well, we're just going to have to figure out something else to do down here. And I, I, Fireball I, pee. That's good. <laughs> what is it? What? <laughs> they were discussing the, the emojis. <laughs> and they, there was a mention of needing a side eye one. But then... Um, like that? Yeah. Devin, Devin says that... Or Yolan says that, uh, yes, Susan, the fireball pee is my fave. <laughs> <laughs> now, after the... Yes, the... Cuss buckets pee. <laughs> hey, have you noticed how much roof? And I'm I'm have using you big words. <laughs> I think as the big words have come, so have a few little slippy, slippy dippies. Oh, like what? See, she doesn't even realize when she does it. I don't think I I don't think I've no, had any slip ups all. today at all. You've had about five. <laughs> P.S. Well, it's not. Not. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. We I might guess have it's going to be like a. We might have to perform a cesarean here online on, the, on right in front of the. Oh, you're going to cut it open and get the paint dig out? Dig it out because it, it, it isn't forthcoming. Okay. And I know there's some more in there. And I needs it. Uh, that one is, um, that that's the big of the wishbone rune, rune wishbone. Brad had me switch it, and I was like, that annoys me. I shall find it for you guys so you have the link. I just call it my altered, yes, it altered could, innards. Well, it was sort of, of the outer, circles. outers of the tomatoes. Oh, really? Yes, but you wouldn't be able to get the big one. You could make your own little one. But the big one, because we, we would never be able to fit those size of tomatoes. I mean, well, we could, but you would have to buy a bunch of them. You know, there's... All right, now, let stuff. me just tell you the, the, <laughs> the secret to this. Because you're, you're not going to use it all in one fell swoop. So you get the stuff out right at the top there, right? You bend that baby over. And you clip it. 
I've got clips that go all the yeah, way across better, there, I, I, but I don't know where here. they are right now. No, I mean like oh, plant, like a bolt, clip, the big bolt clip. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, bolt, whatever those bolt things clip. are called. You know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I like to clean that off. I, I don't know. It makes me feel virtuous. <laughs> Keeping it clean. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Keeping it clean. Oh, absolutely. Yes, it's reverse toothpaste extraction. It's <laughs> <laughs> a good call, Oh, That's funny. Okay, now we're going to put this down here, and I'm thinking I might be able to get some kind of good stuff there. Don't like to waste paint. But also don't like for my stencils to get stuck down because it makes me angry, yes. and then I'm more than likely to use that vocabulary I'm always advising you not mm -hmm. to keeping it clean yes oh I mean these may be the star of the show well, I need more of these okay maybe I try to create a set in, in of different sizes because look at how cool that looks oh, that does look cool well or we create a Franken stencil because then that's a better use of the Evo because see things like that just on their own i mean you get the inner parts and, and they remind me of like kind of uh fractured little chess pieces it's it's like some of them got smushed together you know that's that's what it looks like to me but anyway that back and let that ripen a little longer I'm, I'm running out of room here so i'll cut more of them and let you kind of do your franken stencil thing and then i think it could be a really cool stencil altogether that would be a better use of well, and if you would make these smaller, yeah, I'll, I'll get you some small ones. That would be bloody marvelous. Okay, look, look at that. See, ever evolving, ever evolving, using what it's at hand to make something happen. See, and a lot of times this is sort of the process that you know once we kind of have a new stencil give it to p she gets to play with it and then more things come of it we say okay well i need to size it you know we've already done the size it down we need we knew that we needed <laughs> oh ricky says this is getting expensive 36 dollars book i think you should look for the um paper paperback back. one you don't you don't you don't need i this. just the, right off the bat you know because i was just searching during the stream um so i didn't want to I, I could probably spend hours searching things. But, um, and then $8 scraper, and she's beginning to love this stencil. Well, the funny thing is, all right, so this stencil, it comes in a set. You get, like, the whole different parts. But then, now we're talking about maybe making a Archie style two, or maybe instead of Archie pieces, we go to Archie lines. And see, the, did you see what those lines were doing? In fact, yeah. gum it. Is it too late to do it? I don't think so. If you hurry, hurry up. Well, I don't. I want to be careful because I don't want to be pulling up paint. Yeah. Where'd my other little bugger go. Oh, there it is. But it was. Well, and I could do the Archie lines and innards and do like a set of three, because that would be doable. I gotta figure that out. See what lays out on the page, and it, it makes it worthwhile for you guys to have, and, and, and at a price point, you know, there's like, I, I try to take all of that into consideration. <laughs> Darcy says the problem with delicate stencils is they get lost easily. Yeah, they do. <laughs> but this one, this this is pretty. Um, I mean, it, it looks delicate here, but it, it's pretty substantial. And you know that Yupo stuff. Oh, that's such a nice... Good lines. And see, that's the funny thing is, is that this is why the sculpture worked, too, because the, the lines of it were attractive. It, it really is, and a lot of times... Okay, now look at that. And if, and if I use that brilliant yellow, mm -hmm. because the... Or the, dare I say. No, it does not call for that, Mariah. No. <laughs> no. I'm being reprimanded. 
she, yeah, G O L D. Uh huh. So, what would be cool is to use that brilliant bright yellow to pull it with, and it's going to take the turquoise, maybe just slightly green, because it's mostly opaque. But this is going to be a stunner. You, you are a smart man, Carrie Griffiths. What did he say? Um, see, he knew where I was sort of going with it. Um, yes. Now, here's the other thing, though. What gets tricky about nesting, because see that the, we, we already have a nest, we have the nested circles. They work like that. But you've got to have breaks or, or a large enough break in, in the cut of them. Because if I just go thin, 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 we are more likely to lose pieces because of just the, the integrity and the stickiness of the mat. A lot of times it'll slip or it pulls because when it's rounding those curves, it pulls it and then it cuts it and then because it have doesn't have enough BB surface area to stick to down to the plate or you need super sticky well super sticky is great but now I'm pulling really thin little things off of a super sticky mat which takes a ton of time and then still has the chance of breaking which then turns into an IMPP see my you know this is my world man <laughs> yeah so these really are kind of that in itself because of its size and the fact that it's just one of them is great it doesn't have a lot of chance to slide or break. I start nesting more thin ones inside like of each inside other. Like go inside of here and gradually get trickier. down. Yeah. Well, of course it does because there's some areas here where you're going to be going back on yourself anyway. Yes. And so I would say pulls. you could only maybe get one more without backtracking over yourself here in these areas where it's smaller. Yeah. I understand that. All right. What are we going to pull this with? I'm thinking silver. I was actually going to say that. Can you believe that? How about that? And we're going to use... Now, oh, we're not going to use that. that. Though, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa no. there. Whoa, 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 Patricia. she says. Whoa, whoa. You are most likely going to lose... The blue. The blue. Sort of. Now, do you remember that really cool print that you did with the... I think it was puzzle. Or it might have even just been pieces. Or the strips. We yeah, were yeah. doing the blocking and the strips, and it yeah. was really cool because you're with the metallic, the the silver. It's yeah. pretty nifty because then you get this cool like matte. And in printing, in the printing process, it would be like putting either an aqueous spot coating on something, or or even just a matte. Like you leave part of the matte paper and then aqueous coating all around it. It's just some cool effects. Well. But you're going to lose a lot of that because you already have the purple haze, haze down here. There. I think you would be better off using something with higher contrast to save whatever's in the background or, or give emphasis to. Man, I'm on fire today. Man, Woo! she's on fire. She got all that out of her mouth. And Thumbs the upsies, yeah. y'all. Whoa, okay. We're going to go with this. Because it's a little bit shiny, but it's nice and dark. There you go. And it's... I really, I love this, you know, on the, and I wished I had left it out because I wanted to talk about it some more about what a marvelous print it was, just in case any of you missed it. All right, um, is it Jacques, Jacqueline? Welcome, by the way. Um, and, and good morning to Amy. Hello. We are using these metal, let me, um, I can put a link to that in the chat as well, but there are these metal cubes that you can build like cute little cubbies and they come with connectors but we don't use the connectors you can get them in sets of four or six and you use zip ties to create the configuration that you want you can usually with the set of six get like three stacks right isn't that kind of what we did yeah we get depending two on to three yeah your sh the depth of your shelf yeah because you're going to use more of your yeah how far you want to put them but i will put a link to to those cubes oh look at how elegant that is this is archipenko because we've got some of that mm -hmm. yeah that's a definite good nod to yeah oh alexander Okay, now that that needs to ripen. I think we should have some others that are coming. Yeah, okay, what did we decide to do on this? I'm thinking we need to put our 
little. There you guys go. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the wire cubes. And then what's great is it usually recommends <laughs> the zip ties with it. So we're not obviously, I mean, we learned this from April over at uh, A Little Creative. She's the one who showed us. And these cubes are really great because they're 14 inches. You gotta watch out for that because if you are using your larger plates, you want to be able to have that additional space to be able to slide them in and out. Because the ones that she had were like 12 inch cubes, but technically they aren't a full 12. Which I'm not overlapping here because I really want, I, 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 really, I really wanted another one here. I, I love so three. <laughs> Am I picking up paint? No, it's just sticky. Okay, good. <laughs> is that good me or is it you? <laughs> you? Me? Oh, Carrie says that's definitely a style of print. That he, he loved it. The, the very Archipenko style. Color. Gently, gently. We want that to be able, and I have enough free space there on my plate that it was sticking to the plate. Not because remember, it doesn't. These little stencils with loose lines like this do not necessarily stick terribly well to paint. So they'll roll up in your brayer real quick. Yes, they will. Uh, is Salvador Dali cubism? No. No, he's 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 a surrealist. Ah, very nice, Devin. She came in for the answer there. Ooh. Building those layers. Building those layers right there on the plate, y'all. Oh, look at this. My black is Oh, it's crazing. Crazing out. Now well, that's cool. Which black was that? It was old Amsterdam. Interesting. Must have been something that was on the plate. Or you need to shake it up a little. Or it could I have been sitting there for a bit. Shake it up. Yeah, this is very true. You are most welcome. Thank you for asking. Oh, this is probably pushing it, but <laughs> that's how we live, right? Dangerously. Dangerously. <laughs> Flipping and flopping. Placement is crucial. Mm -hmm. Dare I say that you're putting that on a diagonal? Let's talk about diagonals. Let's do. She set me up for that one. <laughs> okay. Do not sign your name on a diagonal, please. It makes you look amateurish. Do not Morning. Put, P thoughts. Do not put a diagonal down unless you have a compelling reason to do so. Or a point where it's going to you're unless not just you, gonna slide off the page. Unless you've got a blocker. It's just good design. I, I'm not being snarky right. or ugly about it. I'm just telling you when you put a diagonal down, you will have thought about it and you will have either blocked what it was the from funny thing that it I... slides off it goes sliding off it de-emphasizes the importance of what you are trying right you're rolling downhill you're rolling downhill it just you you, you you're you're gone <laughs> now because I kind of have okay I'm, on, I'm done with that yeah okay I'm done with that I can do this because I have a lot of other. See this diagonal here, created by that that shape there. It already slows you down. It slows you down. I've got another one here where it's rounded. I've got another one here that's perfectly almost horizontal. Yeah. And this here is more or less horizontal. So even though the thing on here is, okay, what color am I going to use down here? I wanted to do it. Now, this. Darcy. Uh, I noticed, yes, you had said that in your collab video. Darcy was talking about a good orange. What reds and yellows do you have? Do not buy an orange until we fully discuss this with you. Oh, yeah. They're, no, that, that's so silly. Yeah. 
Because, yeah, she said that in her thing, and I was like, dang it, I meant to write it down and say, Darcy. <laughs> I mean, sure you can. And I have oranges over here. But, but a lot of times you can make them. Oranges and, is pretty. And if you get one, get one of the goldenrod color oranges. Yeah, you would be better off buying yourself a red and a yellow. Because then you have more options of what type of orange. Plus, you can then use those for other color mixing. And you've got the skill set to. That's why I'm thinking this. See, exactly. She she has a good primary yellow. She can probably make them. Absolutely, and then you can make it. You know, orange just isn't orange. You've got red orange. You've got yellow no orange. You've got green orange. You've got, you know. Oh please! Oh, God. it pulled up some of the paint. A lot of it. Oh, it said, "I'll take that, please." <laughs> All that diagonal talk. <laughs> no, it was because I didn't let this dry. Well, and it's also brand new stencil. So, see, paint to paint, it probably would have left it behind. Okay, well, that's definitely going to have to go and get soaked. Yeah, but Yupo, brand, brand new Yupo, it'd be <sighs> sticky. It was going to look so good. Okay, well. I kind of think it's cool. You know, it's, it's, it's fine. The reason this happened is what Mariah just said. Number one, my paint was not completely dry. Yeah. And I can take this and soak this off. And, and get some good stuff going on there. So, it's, it's, it's no worries. And you can see how cool it was going to look, though. Yeah. Kind of sad about that, but it isn't like we can't reproduce it. I was going to say, you probably put some back on Come there. On. Would you let that dry? Yeah, I'm going to let that dry. I love this. I, I'm, I'm thinking, you know, hey, I'm going to consider this to be an opportunity to do something um. other. And what I may do is I'm not going to put it down there. I may use this. Because I've got two opaque colors here. All right. Hey, see, oh. these, are you guys, I love you. I love you. i got to tell P what you said. So, Carla says, use it as an element. Just, you know, leave that be. Yeah. The, no, your, your piece that the black pieces. And then Darcy said, don't wipe it off. It could leave good stuff on the plate later. I got you right about that. See? I love you guys. You're learning. You're loving us. I, you know, I, so I nice. really, you know, and... And uh, look at that wonderful ombre there. Yep, Susan, he says, wouldn't it leave a good imprint on future polls? Yeah, we love those little surprises. Yep, cool opportunity for taking different course. Mm -hmm. Leave it on there. Leave I think it on the there. Hashtag there. Okay, leave it on. Okay, now I want you to look at this. Look <laughs> at this. I mean, it is like, I, I can. I, <laughs> Darcy says, hashtag course I'm right. Oh, God. Oh, I love it. Uh, yes. You guys are awesome. All right, another piece of paper here. I'm, I'm saving that one because I think that I can actually use it to imprint texture on it. Okay. Now, where were we here? Do we have anything we can <laughs> Why were we justifying such justifying things? Justifying <laughs> screwed up. Oh. Okay. We don't want to screw this one up because this is really a nice one. So I'm not going to get all, you know, adventure, adventure here because I, I really I, I want this one to, yeah. to be a good one. <laughs> Sometimes one must leave the adventure. Yeah. And just do what's right. <laughs> well, if you've got this is what I told Mariah. Said, you know, this is my philosophy of getting started. Oh, just screw it up right at the beginning. Just whatever. Right out of the gate. Right out of the <laughs> gate. Then you don't have anything to lose. Set that I mean, bar you know, low. It absolutely is the most. <laughs> what what do I want to say? Releasing thing that you can do for yourself. Oh here, at least I love it. The void you talked about in the beginning has manifested itself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right in the middle of my damn job. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you guys are oh, that is, good. Chad boy, is, they are on it today. Woo! I'm so proud of you guys. I am. And, and you know, and see, that's what you need. That's why you need a group. Because what I saw as a negative here, somebody said, hey, whoa, wait a minute. That's not what you've been Don't telling be us. Don't be rubbing that off. Look at the yellow. The yellow is, is like, you're looking a little jaundiced. Is this a good color? <laughs> I was like, wow, there's a lot of yellow in the screen there. Woo, 
Good stuff. Hey, yo, bye, Trish. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for hanging. Oh, and Constance is here. Constance. I think so, yes. Fiber G. <laughs> Seven. All right, now let's, here we go. See, tell your husband we did a good thing today. We, talk, we talked her down from buying me. Although, actually, we did say, you know, if you didn't have that, you should buy two colors versus one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't buy that, that already that made color. wreath. Go buy, buy all two. the things that you can you can do to make it. Yeah, or three and colors. And three or you... $400 later, you'll have a really nice wreath. It's just, it's just the crafty supply thing where you're like, oh, I can make that. <laughs> you could buy the thing for 20 bucks, but no, I need this, 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 and this to make it. <laughs> Yeah, it, 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 yeah. We, we laugh about that a lot. Okay, well, let's just bring this little dude back here. This has some kind of gray, swishy stuff on here. That's more We're of going to consider it patina. Nested, shadowy business. <coughs> Would you like some water? I need I need to have a little swig of coffee, I okay. think. To, uh, I don't know. I've got a goober in the back of my That's throat. nice. Sorry, guys. Allergies have been... Oh, it's well, so it's been raining, which is great, but also then creates this whole other humidity thing that, you know, we have been missing, but then, you know, you go from dry to this, and it really messes with the sinuses, <clears throat> and we've been cleaning. God. Stirring up dirt. <laughs> just let it be. Fogging. Let it settle. <laughs> yeah, it, just leave it alone. Oh. I'm I, saving I, that. I, I need to... Um, <laughs> Use it's tape. almost could Halloween. You, could you use tape to get that off with? Because that's not going to stir up. I'll tell you what, this is really, and I don't know what, what You can the buy little, that alone. You can't. Well, yes. you need to get some of this. Because I don't know why I hadn't been using it. Well, because Lisa hadn't told us yet. She was the one who turned us on. In fact, she sent it to us. I know, but I just didn't use it for the longest time because I thought, oh, it's just so opaque. But we're doing Archipenko, and remember, he is doing metallic patina surfaces. Oh my gosh, that's going to be wonderful. Oh, that, just look at that very off. What? <laughs> you just practically wet yourself looking at that? I did. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Do I want to pull this up? Oh, Lisa Mingus says the void could be filled with a murdery mm. body outline stencil. I love it. It's dark. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, the doodle guy. He's great. Who are you talking about? Well, you're not. I see him on Instagram the most. But he doodles on everything. He even has his own outfits made and he'll doodle entire rooms. And... Oh. Yeah. I think he's from the UK, right? Go. Oh. I don't know what we're going to do here, ladies and gentlemen. We're running out of... Running out of plates? Running out of plates. We're going to have to pull some. Now, one of the things that we are going to do in this project, because we have made a little book deal, a cover, you know, like we do, just kind of cover, is we will be storing, like, some of the prints and things. But ultimately, I... I think that making the sculpture would be really fun. Oh, I do too. Um, because we can kind of show you the paper mache sculpting process. It's going to be a little tricky because, you know, this is going to have to be the size of like the head, if not larger, for it to have proper proportions and get the eye. Because remember, we're going to be dealing with something where we're going to have to have enough Carrie width that. and breadth yeah. and height in order to get voids. Mm -hmm. Because if it's really small, you're going to be dealing with the little And you know what's funny? As teeny so, precious things. That's kind of what we're talking about. And see, this is why we enjoy talking about this stuff so much. Because, you know, here we're talking about sculpture. And then we were talking about stencil making. The size inside of certain areas matters <laughs> and it, it matters. It matters. <laughs> I think that stencil feels a little violated <laughs> um. 
<laughs> I know my eyeballs did a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> well, you're very sensitive. That is true. That's what Izzy told me when I was brushing her hair. <laughs> Gigi, I'm sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. So, I do think that it's going to have to have some, some height and width. Height. 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 And width. 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 width, width. Yeah, yeah. yeah, well, it's Diane. She's like, why do, why do you guys say, is it height? Height. 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 Yeah, and we don't width. say the G. Well, I don't think you pronounce the G. Yeah. You know, that's one of those words you just don't walk around going, you know, saying a lot. No. Height, width, and, yes. oh, width, goodness. and depth. And you, if you want to, is it, you know, is it children that have lispy problems with that pH? And our baby does, which is hilarious. Oh, my God. I have to tell you this one. So, the other day, Brad and Izzy are getting ready. I think they were going to the pool. And she comes out and she says, I need my sermus. I mean, it almost sounded like she was saying sermon. And I'm like... Hmm. What? That's interesting. And Brad couldn't understand her either. <laughs> she says, no, I need my, and she kept saying it. And, and then finally Brad was like, or, do you understand? I said, okay, I have to look at your mouth while you're saying this. Because I had to see where the little lispy thing was. Because I knew that was kind of coming into play. But then it's, how do you see my thermos? My thermos. I'm like, oh, your thermos. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes, it's in the back. Poor little thing. And I'm just like, well, we'll work that out. I know. I, I, I hope that... Sometimes you know, I just love it, though. I'm like, could you please just keep saying that now that I know what it is? And, and Lello. She doesn't do that anymore. I know. I know. Somebody's made fun of her. No. I think no? just she's she just, just started kind of picking it up right. You know, she's going to school. I'm sure somebody told her, hey, by the way, it's yellow. <laughs> yeah, and, I know. And I, I was <laughs> hugging on her the other morning, and I was like... You know, I just need to do this because I'm probably not, you know, she's not going to want me to do that forever. No. She'll and like, you oh just God. think how fast she went from zero to five. Oh. Yeah. So, I just, yeah. And she's so funny. <laughs> Sometimes she wakes, she, she says, she wakes up in the night and says things. And... <laughs> You know, just what sets up straight, you know, like you've seen those movies where the dead person or the person they're involving just sets up straight. She does it just exactly like that. And it just cracks me up. Yeah. And then you're like startled. And yeah. And, and whatnot. And she rattles off a whole bunch of stuff that you're thinking about. And then she flops down and goes back to sleep before you can even answer it. Yeah. Talk to her the next morning. She has not no a clue. Point. I'll tell you what, we're really on a yellow binge here. I'm getting Oh, okay. Of... See, Darcy says hype is a colloquial variant of height. Hype. Yeah, see, I think it's a Texan thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it is a little, yes. Now, I you it. see what I love about this is I love that, okay, I'm, I'm going to put this aside because this is really such a lovely background that I can use that <laughs> I for I love other... that yellow. Other things, I this I love this yellow. It's just my favorite yellow. It's so bright and cheerful, but it's not. I don't know the other one that I have uh -huh. that starts with the B. Oh, the Benzi. The Benzi Medazzle. Yeah, we call it the Benzi. I don't like that so it's, much. It's a. It's kind of like canary yellow. It's it, it's a sweet baby yellow. Maybe that's just it. This has more, like, this is very pop art, kind of, you know, on the verge oh, of being... Oh, you piece of crap. Um, how's that? <laughs> Don't you have a bigger word for that? Crap. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay, well, we're going to put that aside. I'm no worries, I've Martha. Got, got something to do over here. I'm getting a whole lot of plates that have stuff on them that oh okay here here darcy says that it goes with width breadth and depth yes width breadth. depth breadth oh yes breadth is like what right. breadth right. I, height all right keep us keep it going darcy if we need more information yeah we do <laughs> i don't know what breadth is i always Aww. thought breadth was 
you know, uh, this way. That's sweet, Michelle. What is it? Oh, see now, this might make me a little teary. I can't read it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we got to... Well, I don't know if this is the right color, and nobody was saying anything to me, so... Mm. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yes, my God, this is wonderful. I took a sneak peek there, but I think I got it. Yeah. See? Woo! Can't do that to me, Michelle. <laughs> See, those are our little lines. Gotta change the subject. <laughs> what, 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 what? Oh, or, oh, I won't talk to you right now. Ooh. I don't want you to be sobbing and... I know. Blubbering online. <laughs> Try to look for the Kleenex, but the baby's taking off. <laughs> oh, my God. That oh, is the other horrible. thing. She is so terrible. She blows her nose nose once on a tissue. Uh-huh. And puts it in the pile. And I really, I got onto her because she had like a pile. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. I'm going to use A it. whole pile. And I'm like, Izzy, that is not acceptable. Yeah, so I took the Kleenex away from her and just handed the pile back to her. <laughs> Said, hey, no. This okay, that is not the time to use that. Yeah. All right. I, I'm a tad extra emotional today, so, you know, there is that. This is sort of, see, I'm <laughs> holding this up to the light. This is like semi-transparent, and I think if I did use the right color, it might look really oh. cool. Okay, here we have more information on breadth. It's, uh, and hello, Terry. Um, breadth is synonymous with width. Yes. Breadth. Thank also, you. wide range or extent. She has the advantage of breadth of experience. Yes, and yes. one of the things that we always talked about when we were designing our lesson plans was we would say uh, depth. I don't know what the other word was. Depth and breadth. Okay, yeah. breadth means it went for a long time. Or depth was how far into it you yeah, were yeah. going. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Whew. Yeah. That was deep. Interesting. Okay. So I'm thinking something, it's either going to have to be really, really light or really, really dark. Yeah. Um... Like, go with gold. Actually, what would be cool is if you went with a different color on the outsides and then something on the inside. Okay. That might be interesting. Yeah, I'm liking that, but what I'm going to do... It just pulled off part yeah. of it. <laughs> and Carrie just said, warning, um, that's not going to lift the dark color that, like the previous creative pull. <laughs> I think, I, I'm thinking not. Yeah, it, it's... it's it should be it's, more dry. It's, it's, you know, it's always the... It's a gamble. It's a gamble. All right, so on this end, we're going to use a gray. Are you going to go monochromatic? I'm going to go monochromatic, and I'm looking for my other... Mm -hmm. And I, The other day, I found it here, and I was like, why did I hide that from myself back there? <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we've got <laughs> a pinky gray... It's called Tundra. 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 Orlando. And we have... <sighs> Gets her fired up. <laughs> Gets her fired up. Yeah, she's just trying to get me to break my, mm -hmm. my vow. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. Shake your paint. Oh, they're excited too. They love that color. Lisa's back. She cleaned her kitchen made brunch and cleaned her kitchen. Amazing. Uh, I wish we lived next door to you. I know. I think that we'd be well fed and we wouldn't have to clean our kitchen. <laughs> Which is in, in need of being cleaned yeah, right now. Yeah, the fairies have not shown up. I'm waiting. I, I, I suspect that she has fallen uh, to... I think she got a better uh, offer. I think, no, I think, well, <laughs> there is always that. All right, folks, I, I don't, you know, I've never done this like this before. I like it. I think it's cool. That makes me a little sad, but that's okay. 
Yeah. Now we're going to pull that whole thing with white once it dries. Or silver. Silver would be cool. You know silver would be cool. No. We're going with white tonight because we want super contrast. And that silver's just going to get sucked into the... I swear, we are at the point here where we've got to go with big... Bur oh my gosh, we've got this thing to talk about. Is it Joaquin? I just... I know I said Jacqueline earlier, but I think it's Joaquin. Isn't Spell it? Spell it. J-A-C-Q-U-E-I-N-E. -E. Joaquin. Guarno. I would Guarno? say Joaquin. Yeah, I would too. Okay. Give me a thumbs up. See if that was right. Um, if you are part of our, I don't know if you, you're on Facebook or not, but join us on the Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. And if you are in there, I can then tag you over on a post because we have all the links, we have up close pictures, but we know we have never done it. Well, I keep telling P that we should, I should have videoed the last one, but most of the time it just happens like she needs it. <laughs> so we don't, we haven't videoed the assembly of the, and my heart would be a little broken like if that would be our big video. <laughs> so that would be very annoying. But, you know, utility and need is something. Yeah, go hand in hand. Yeah. Necessity is the mother of invention. Yeah, so we, we That's what Ben that. said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yes, we do have pictures of it and how we assembled it there. Assembled what? The cubes. The cubes. Oh. Yeah, the, the, the grids. Hmm. Purple, Joni says. Purple, purple, purple. I kind of like the idea. You're going to lose your yellow, you realize. Yeah, because it is a transparent yellow. It's a transparent yellow. That's my, my, that was why I was hesitating. Is it worth it? What? Oh, and what you see on here, these little pieces here? I think what I spent hours yesterday. Gold would be cool. <laughs> I, I know I keep saying it, but I think that it would be really cool. I'm just, I, I keep visioning. I think the you might be The other right. day was so awesome. I, 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 I'm not agreeing with you just right. because I want to make you happy. Because I ain't wrong. She's you not know, she makes it really hard she's to, to give it me. to her because she's, she's such a about it. Oh, so it is Jacqueline. Okay, it is Jacqueline. I was Jacqueline. right the first time. But then I was looking at it and I was like, maybe it is Joaquin. Okay, we're just going to use some cheap deco art. Ooh. Wait, hold on one second. Now, Joni did say lime green. I don't agree with that because this is going to be like on a green because if you go limey it's going to be yeah, way Yeah, it's going to show through the, this. And but it. Devin says pink, pink, pink. And, you know, the brighter the better. We don't True. have fluorescent, but we'll get close. I like that. Yeah. The gold would be a subtle cool thing, but I actually think that the pink is a pretty nifty idea. Because you're going to go peachy with any of the yellow area. But then that pink's going to pop out there. Plus with the red. This would go fantastic with Darcy's um, book. that she <laughs> Color scheme. Wise. Now remember, we, and I think this is what I use though. So I don't want to use that. I want to use some. I've got, where is, that's too red. Now, you know, you have the U.S. Art Supply kind of piggy, piggy, shiny pink. Piggy, piggy, shiny pink. Because mm. then you get the... You, okay, but what about this? Why don't, can you mix it together? Well, it doesn't mix very well, but... Well, let's give it a go. Give it a go. Boy, there's not very much in here. I must no. really like this color. Well... Oh, I used it a lot in my mixes. <laughs> it's a good mixer. That's it's a good mixer. Oh, did you see how it <laughs> shot out there like a... Mm -hmm. 
I hope I don't have any little crispy critters in there. <laughs> very excited and about that, this. That, that's a very large glob. I didn't anticipate it was going to go quite that. That's just going to make it go a little bit darker. And that's the I Windsor think. Newton. Which one is that? That's the uh, permanent rose. Okay. I like it. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. I like that it's going to be a little shimmery. But do keep in mind that a lot of times, whenever you mix um, a matte with a metallic, it is going to dull down the metallic. Typically. Oh, this is a little more transparent than I thought it was going to be. I know. Maybe put a, can you put a blob of the other pink at the top there? Well, at this point, I really can't do anything until okay. I allow it to dry. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to try to pull it with this. Because okay. it's way too thin. I've got yeah. three layers here that I'm trying to get up. Well, flip it over and let's give a little looky a little bit. Kind of what's happening. Might be a sheet, but yeah, I think you should pull it with the, the hot pink. That'll be cool. Or I could just pull it with like white, white or buff. But and that'll I, make that light pink. A very light pink. But I've got to use something like that because I, otherwise I'm not going to get all this mm -hmm. off of here. Because you can see my edges, how the edges build up. Yeah. Remember, because she, yeah, she's got a couple layers on there already that have dried individually. Yes. So as you build those up, it's your, your final pull has got to be a nice thick usually a good opaque like titan buff um, yeah something that's got a lot of pull power to it and, and it's gonna stay um open long enough that it's going to absorb into those layers of paint because it's like you have to reactivate them somewhat so that way they become sticky enough to get that final mm. clean pull that everything comes off Yes. Good yes. pull power. Yeah, exactly. Heavy opaque paint. Good pull power. Um, and a good, you know, economical one is like the toasted marshmallow. The, that's an apple barrel, isn't it? The toasted mm -hmm. marshmallow one. Or, you know, craft paints are, are great final pull paints. What you doing with this? Oh, we got three minutes, man. No, oh, good lord. Oh, look at this. I mean, we can go a little bit long. Um, look at this. I just got laundry to do. <laughs> look at that. Ooh, I like over. that. I know. I'm keeping that. I've got a really good yellow one, too, to use. All right. We're going to try something a little bit different here. Um, kind of like, in, you know, we're, we're channeling Archipenko, so we want to get some, some more of these neutral. Dark, moody. Dark, moody. Um, kind Industrial. Of, industrial feel that is an excellent you know cement colors they did use actually use cement and cement's one of those funny things that depending on your mix it cannot um some are more stable than others i don't know if you guys hear the oh. ratsy badooty about any of this but um you know, it's a lot like paint and paint binders, depending on how you mix it. Which you, you know, well, if, if you dilute acrylic paint with too much water, it then becomes, it breaks down its ability to bind to the pigment, which then makes it, um, is volatile the right word? No, not. Um, well, and here's the, here's another little, little known. Fun but, fact. If you are going to have cement that holds up well, you need to have sand that has sharp edges, not rounded edges. Oh. Because the rounded edges, ooh, I just about. Yeah, I think maybe that's what I'm remembering for some reason. How Carmichael, is it that we know this? Carmichael told me. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is going to be so. Why do we know this? <laughs> we know this because Carmichael told me. Because he said the reason his driveway was caca poo poo was because they didn't use the good right sand. sand. it 
won't matter anyway. Uh, this is one way that you get use of your <laughs> color on your stencils. <laughs> what? Oh, Debbie, she says, oh, semen. I heard semen. <laughs> semen. Like, you know, the men, men on oh. the sea. Yeah. Oh, now that could be some good stuff Ooh. for inclusion on a sculpture. Yes. Oh, and that would be very interesting. Kind of recreating. So our idea is obviously like making a... Um... Do you see how, ex how professionally I floated that tissue paper down there? That was, that was some professional stuff right there. So our structure is not going to be semen. It's not going to be plaster or... Bronze, no, we're gonna or, use but we're gonna make spit it spit and string look like it and hopefully have it last longer than you know <laughs> like it could hold up oh well, look at our little persons we've got there but paper mache it, it's the techniques of paper mache oh yeah definitely okay now i'm Got to do something here. And Jacqueline, not... there's the there's the link to Makers. Little Nightbot has dropped <clears> that in. If you want to click that and come on over, answer the questions. We love to know more about you and kind of where your influences are. Yes, absolutely. Because we always, you know, people remind me of things that I I once knew but had forgotten. So. Oh, those were some good calls on that, Carla. Sorry, I missed it. She says Prussian blue primary, wild pink turning lilac. Yes. It did have some interest. Um, I, what are you doing there? I don't know. Giving it a bit of color. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. Like garden statues. Mm -hmm. I love the gray and yellow. And I might be getting some color off of the stencil. <laughs> oh, see, they're kind of ghosty. Oh, I love that. <laughs> but right now, we're just I'm just thinking about my papers that I'm preparing, you know, that I probably will never use. But now that is some gorgeous. Oh, how do you, how do you say it, Devin? They say it, she says that we, they pronounce it very differently. What? Cement. Cement, maybe. Is I that do, cement? I, 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 I have to have captions on my British television. Well, she's in she's in Canada. Oh, well, yes. She, that probably... I would cement. Say French. Depending on where she hmm. is. Okay, well, we're getting some good stuff here. Let's see if I can get a little paint off of that. We don't, you know, we don't have have a set design of what we're doing here, so we don't really care if it works or not. Oh my <laughs> gosh, I used the other side of that bugger. Ghost. Yes, like cement. <laughs> Boy, it ne ne never fails. We're, we're always trying to discuss, like, <laughs> how to say well, something. Well, <laughs> you know, I we, love it. I, I'm always looking for Belline Road. Yeah, Belline. Because this is. Yes. <laughs> People do not pronounce pronounce T's. Cement in the Southern. That's right. <laughs> Cement. <laughs> there is a T in there. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> Oh, concrete. Yeah, that's another. <laughs> but actually, it's different because th there's a difference between concrete and cement. Yes, and it, it has to do with because cement, cement is what makes concrete. Right, concrete blocks are typically kind of a lighter weight. Like cement is heavier, and usually like for driveways and things of that nature concrete blocks. I used to be in the building industry a little bit. So some of this, I, maybe that's where I acquired some of that other knowledge. Our lighter weight, that's why they, they, they sort of have more air in them. 
for building purposes because even the, and they retain heat and or re, what is it they block the heat but retain cool anyway there, there's something to all that thermal factor thermal back there we go <laughs> words <laughs> Start these they're words. hard sometimes. words are <laughs> oh, she was me. so cracking up words are hard she says that all the time <laughs> and i'm like yes what is that word that i'm looking for Word. gosh words are hard <laughs> Words. <laughs> Give me a word. Oh, oh hi, Abby. No worries. So glad you hung out. We love having you here. We do need to stop. <laughs> well, well, I'm just, I, I'm just doing this because I'm on a roll here and okay. I'm creating a bunch of papers I've probably never used. <gasps> well, but I don't know that. Or we'll send them. Or we will send them away yeah. to a new home. All right, now I'm kind of thinking. We'll do this final one. Final one. Can you pull this? Or are you going to have to leave it on? I'm going to have to leave this one on. All right. So we might as well just. Well, get it down. I'll get it down. All right, I'm going to use white. <laughs> I'm not going to try to squeeze that out. Hey, Jody. This is, this is a beige. Close enough. This is the Lucas Krill Studio. This is the less, it, it's more traditional acrylic versus the Pastos, which is a more opaque, uh, chalky. chalky. Yes, and I like this for pulls. Kind of getting a little bit of a grungy green vibe here. <laughs> get it down and get funky, that's right. <laughs> And we're gonna go ahead. And you, you can, you know, you can. I know one doesn't ever just come out. Well, you know what'd be cool on there is if we could figure out a little way to um, create a, a little holder. So as you pull one, it sort of kind of holds the other one back. What am I thinking of that sort of has that mechanism? Oh, like the can in the box that you just put them so that the cans roll out one at a time. Sort of. Oh, look at how wonderful this is going to be. Oh, that's some good mappy wall business there. Absolutely. <laughs> I know, it totally. Devin says Lucas Krill, a.k.a. the evil mastermind of the underworld. Because <laughs> he does it sounds like an evil, yes. Hi, Gretchen. Well, you know, I, I started out not liking the paint at all. Yeah. Being very disappointed in it. But you of watched course, earlier I had ordered two. Uh, two of them because they were on sale. Mm -hmm. And at, at, at <laughs> the behest of someone who shall remain nameless. Uh -huh. And got them. And, and before I even got them, our good friend Mo said, you ain't gonna like that. You're not gonna like That's that. That's how we became friends with Mo was paint talk. Paint talk. And and she was not wrong. She was absolutely right. But I was so irked that I had this paint, I was bound and determined to make it work. So I thought, well, what what is so here I went my problem solving mode. Why don't I like it? Well, I don't like it, number one, because it dries too fast. It's super chalky. It's not a good pull point pull paint because it, it didn't, dries it, so it, quickly. Yeah, you didn't have enough time to even get your paper on it. Hell, it was like, whoa! Dry! I, could, I mean, it was drying there in this little glob yes. before I got the brayer on it. Created a little, you know, little halo-y thing. So, I just figured out, you know, I'm going to add some gloss medium. I'm going to add some impasto. Mm -hmm. And then, I think gloss medium, I don't know. I, I tried some you know, different... She has a mix. Yeah, I've got, I had different, and, and one of them. it all on the label. Yeah. I, one of them I put tar gel in, and I, I don't recommend that. Tar gel. Um, tar gel should stay by itself. It should, because it's number one, super sticky. It doesn't play with others very well. It doesn't, and it takes forever to dry. If ever. So anyway, that's a good thing to leave yeah. the stream on. Um, oh, you're going to pull it? No, no, I'm not. Okay. I'm rubbing it back down. Now, we're going to let that stay. And this, ah. is, this is that kind of tissue that I can... All right, I'm going to go back to side by side. All righty. Well, this has been super fun. 
it has been for me. Fun I hope hanging it out with for you, guys. you. Archipanko has begun. I think eventually we will make some kind of sculpture thing along with a book. I think a sculpture and a book together. Oh yeah, and some will probably end up being stuck down as elements in the book. I just that's just starting to look so cool and then of course we've got this one we have an evolution already of the outline thing I will try to work on that during this week and maybe that can be something either Thursday or by next Sunday I can have in play for the outline oh, next yes. versions of the stencil thank you all for hanging out with us it, it just it means so much to us I, I mean I just and can't tell you um, and those of you that are new, and even if you're watching the replay, please watch for the links to Makers of Mixed, Makers of Mixed Media Art and Artists Facebook group. Come hang out with us. That's where we're, you know, we're there all the time. Many of the folks that you see in the chat are there as well. We do a collab thing each month. I mean, we're, we're a big friendly group inspiring one another, and, and it just, it's so awesome. I, I just, we get teary-eyed thinking about it. Well, I certainly do, especially today. <laughs> and remember, we've got a we've got a whole we've got two packets of enter oh, the giveaway. Um, more of you guys have uh, entered into the giveaway because that's coming up. Um, you know, whatever the last Sunday of the month is, I think this one's going to be this next this coming Sunday. Well, and, and we're also going to hear, hear about our status of whether oh, we yes, we got the fair at the at the state fair. We'll know. Yeah. I think by the end of this week. I'm hoping. They said that they'll they'll know on the 24th, but they post the results on their website. So by the end of the month. So that's exciting news. Yeah. Perhaps. Or maybe not. Maybe we're just going to be sad and not talk about it. Yeah. We'll <laughs> shove that down into some little hole of, you know, I don't feel validated. <laughs> Stupid judges. Stupid judges. That wasn't our fault. <laughs> oh, I just love this. All right. Well, we don't have that up. Um. Thank you guys so much. We shall see you on Tuesday because remember we do this three times a week. Bye. Bye.